I'm your host Mike Sinclair with Viper RIP and today we're going to be putting the flashlight trick to rest for good. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, the flashlight trick is where you take a flashlight, you turn it on, usually a mag light, and then you twist the end of it just to the point where the flashlight turns off. From there you're going to set it down and start asking questions and then ghosts, yes I said it, ghosts are going to be able to manipulate this flashlight and turn it off and on in response to your questions. Now, this flashlight phenomenon was made popular on the TV series Ghost Hunters. It's also aired on other television shows, and I've even spoke with teams who claim to have used this long before it was ever seen on television. But that's beside the point. The point is, this method is flawed, and it should not be used on investigations, and I'm going to tell you why. In the past, I created a video demonstrating this method using an off-brand flashlight, which probably wasn't the best idea in the world. But I went on to say that when you twist the back of it off, essentially what you're doing is causing your flashlight to be defective and, and operate outside of the way that it was meant to operate. We were on an investigation one time and it was a public investigation. I had about 10 people in my group. I was leading the group. Some of them were investigators, some of them were not. But we would walk into a room and they would sit down. Half of them would pull out their K2 meters, half of them would pull out their flashlights. They'd set them down and start asking questions. And each time uh, they got a hit on the K2 or the light came on or went off or flickered, they were so excited. They were, woohoo, yay. They were like, thank you so much. They were so excited that they thought they were communicating with ghosts. And, you know, I was kind of embarrassed for them because of their lack of common sense and overall gullibility. Um, unfortunately, like I said, people are still using this method, so I decided to do a little more research. I pulled out my own mag light, started tinkering with it a little bit, and here's what I come up with. Now the flashlight we're going to be using is just like the ones they use on television. It's the mini mag light. Yes, I realize this flashlight is purple. This is my wife's flashlight. She doesn't know I'm using it, but she's probably going to find out when she watches this video. So uh, thanks for letting me borrow the flashlight. I promise I'll put it to good use. Now, if you have any comments or questions, wait till you watch the entire video before you leave those because I may answer those at the very end. So make sure you watch the video in its entirety before you leave any comments. We've had our flashlight running for a couple minutes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly twist it to where it just cuts off. There it is. Now we're going to set it down. And we're going to ask, if there are any ghosts in here, can you please come over and turn my flashlight on? As you can see, bumping, it's not doing anything. If there are any ghosts, can you please turn my flashlight on? We're going to sit here and we're going to wait and we're going to see if we have a ghost in here. I mean, after all, that's what paranormal investigation is all about, setting and waiting. There's a lot of setting and a lot of waiting, so you have to be patient. Hello, any ghost here? Can you please turn my flashlight on? It happened. There's definitely a ghost in here. That's the only logical explanation. Well, not exactly. See, what's happening is when you're running this flashlight, it's getting hot. The insides of the light's getting hot, the metal's getting hot. When metal gets hot, it shrinks. So when you turn this flashlight off, it's been running for a few minutes, so now it's good and hot, it's shrunk, all the metal shrunk, and when you turn it off, it starts to cool down. Now as it starts to cool down, that metal slowly starts to expand and as it expands it completes that connection it causes that light to come on nothing paranormal about it now here, here's the real tip didn't even have to ask didn't even have to ask we not only have a ghost here but we have a psychic ghost now what just happened there was the light was running and it was starting to heat up and as it was heating up it was shrinking and it got to that point where we turned it off and it broke that connection and caused the light to turn off if there are any ghosts here can you turn I don't believe it I've never seen anything like this before there's a ghost here turning this flashlight on and off before I even say it it's a psychic ghost um, well that's it guys now 
the bottom line, I'm not saying ghosts are incapable of turning on a flashlight, and I'm not saying that when your light's going on and off in investigations that it's not a ghost. What I am saying is when you use this technique, 100% of the time you will definitely get false hits. So if you want to sit there and investigate and go off coulda bins, that's fine with me. But if you want to do some real investigation, take that flashlight and use it what it's for, and that's to light your way. I want to thank you for watching our videos. Make sure to thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to share. Please comment and subscribe for more Ghost Hunting 101 and everything paranormal. See you next time.